Check the speaker. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Good Welcome, evening. Rosa. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. Perfect. Melanie, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Nice to see you one more time. Welcome. <laughs> oh, you, you have you have a terrible flu, right? Or it's a cold. Yes. I'm yes. sorry. Well, okay. Good evening, I teacher. Back in the uh, Julio. Welcome. Good evening. Back in the days, Melanie, we used to call that COVID-19. Do you remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Everything was off. Oh. Everything is was covered back in the days, but nowadays, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not <a> teacher. <laughs> yes, that was terrible, right? That was terrible. That was the worst. Yeah, okay. I hope that uh, we don't that get that. It is very terrible, uh, COVID. Yes, exactly. That was, but I terrible. don't have a COVID. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting, letting me know that. Just give me a minute while I get. Uh, the information for you. Thank you so much for being here on time. Just give me some minutes. Yes. I need to get the presentation for you and be ready. As you may know, this is class number 14. Yes. This yes. is number class 14. Num yes. Okay. Um, I remember that yesterday. Huh? I uh, saw the class or uh, the verbs irregular with regular. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. That is true. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. We were working with regulars and also irregular verbs. But the main thing, I think that was um, that was the patterns of the verb to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Started with verb to be, as you remember, right? Uh, what is the past tense of the verb to be, Melanie? Do you remember? The verb to be the past. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I do. No, no, the past, the past, the past tense. Uh huh. Julio, do you remember? I don't remember it. <laughs> That's okay. No problem. Julio, do you remember? <laughs> That's okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, try. Yeah. try. yeah. Yes. Pass of the yes, very good, Melanie. Was and where? Was. 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 Yes. <laughs> that is the past tense of the verb. Yeah. Was and where. So today we will oh. continue working with us, but we're gonna have questions. Questions with past tense of verb to be. That is the thing we're gonna have today. Okay, this is class number 14. And we're going to start with today's content. Let's take a look what do we have for today. Okay. Teacher, when things. when use uh, the word and where's use was? Oh, right now we are going to take into that one. Ahorita vamos a ver that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes, be ready. Okay, be ready. We're going to have, as you may see, right, we have some examples. Yes, we have this picture here. Tell me, Julio, what do you see in this picture, please? In this picture, Julio. Okay, a person is computer. Computer, uh, okay. Phone is phone. Phone or telephone? Which one is phone or telephone? Uh, telephone. Telephone. Yes, that is correct. Very telephone. Good. Um, mouse is mouse. A mouse, very good. Um, picture. Oh, a picture, right? We have a picture. No, it's, picture. I think it's not a picture. <laughs> I think it's the window. <laughs> I think it's no, the window. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, a pencil. A pencil? A pencil or a pen? Pen. A pen. Pencil. Pen. Very pencil. Good. Uh, how do you say teclado? Oh, how do you say teclado in English, people? Mm -hmm. How do you say teclado in English? Yes, we have keyboard. Keyboard. No, no. Okay. Keyboard. Keyboard. Exactly. Uh, keyboard. 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 Uh -huh. keyboard. Key keyboard. Yes, we have a keyboard. Okay. And what is Julio? What is he wearing? What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Okay. 
Um, Azut. Yeah. Thank you, Isabel. Yes, thank you. Okay, one more time. Isabel, one more time. Okay, one more time. No, the... What is he wearing? What is he wearing? Um, a tea? A suit. He is wearing jacket. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. Suit. Very really good. Okay. Which is this one? And glasses. Suit. Okay. And glasses. Oh, some glasses. Very good. Exactly. He's wearing some glasses. That is correct. Very really good. Yes. Very good. Ahora. Look at the other picture. Here we have another picture, right? Yes? Yes? Okay. Exactly. So here we have another picture, if you see. Yes? So this is? A clock. This is? What part of the day is this? Last night. Night. Last night, right? Last night. Is this the past or the present? In the past? The past, the past right? And here is? Now, present. now is the present no, or the past? No, present. Exactly. Present. Now is the present. Now is the present, and last night is the past. The past. Okay? past. So here, if you see, we have examples, right? It says, now, now, the present, Robert is at work. Mean it? At work, right? At midnight, last, last night, Yes, last night, he wasn't at work. He wasn't at work. ¿Dónde estaba? He was in bed. He was asleep. Yes? Okay. Right? So, this is the past. This is the past. Okay. And I use verb to be to communicate dónde estaba, right? Yes, y cómo estaba, right? He was in Ahí bed. Exactly right. Later, <laughs> later, right? Later, you will be like this. <laughs> Great job. Great job. You got it. You got it. Okay. Very good. Now, here we have affirmative questions, right? We have the present, meaning um, is in the past, in the past, was. Okay. Is was. Okay. So that means. Look at this one. Present, right? Um, and is. This is present. Pero en el pasado, vamos a utilizar para esos two, was. So you puedo decir, I am tired. This is now. Mire. Now. ¿Qué dijimos que era now? Present, teacher. Present. Very good, Rosa. Right? Now is the present. So yo digo, I am tired. Yes, I am tired, right? Pero si yo quiero hablar del past, utilizo. I was tired last night. Yes, last night. Then we have where is Kate? Yes. So right now, you say where is Kate? Where is Kate? Yes. Yes, where is the Kate? This is present, right? But if I want to talk about the past, I can say, hey, where was Kate yesterday? Where was Kate yesterday? Yes. Where was Kate yesterday? Also, the weather. Well, rather weather, right? Yes, the weather, Rosa? Weather. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Oh, okay. Weather. The no. weather. Yeah. Jennifer Flores, ¿qué es el weather? El weather, aquí, weather. Yes, what is that? Nubia. Como el clima. Yes, yes very good. Jennifer, clima. Got it, that is correct. El clima, right, mire. Clima. The oh. weather is good today. So today, right now, is good, the weather. But yesterday, the yesterday, the weather was good last week. Well, here we have last week. Last week, the weather was good. Yes, right? So, miren la difference, right? Cuando estoy hablando del present, utilizo am and is. Pero, yes. si voy a hablar del pasado, was, was, was. Yes? Right? Oh. So, yes, exactly. So, I'm going to use was, was, and also the expressions 
last night, yesterday, last week. Right. Thank you. Uh, come. Let me see. Okay, give me a minute. Miguel, thank you. Read the rest, please. Thank you, Miguel. This part, Miguel, please. This one. Do you see this one, Miguel? Please, read this one, Miguel. Thank you. So, Miguel? Um, I am tired now. Where is Kate? Now the weather is good today. I was tired last night. Where was Kate yesterday? The weather was good last week. You are late now. You aren't here. You were late yesterday. They weren't here last Sunday. Thank you. Your pronunciation here, yesterday. Yesterday, like the sun from the Beatles, right? Yesterday, Ye yesterday. Okay, very good. Thank you. So here we have, if you notice, these two are singular. Singular, right? Is and are. But this is plural, mire. Are. We use where with plurals. You are late, that is present. They aren't here, that is present. But in past tense, I can use where or the negative wherein. You were late yesterday. Or they weren't here last Sunday. Okay, so one more time. This is the present, yes, and this is the past. We're gonna use past and where to talk about the past. This is just with verb to be. Remember that is special thing that goes with verb to be. Okay, so just just be careful on that one because this verb to be. It's like pan dulce with coffee. Every single time we use it. And we will see it in the future in different contexts. Okay, right now, it's just with past tense. Yes, right now it's just with past tense. Any question about this? Teacher, ¿y solo esos verbos se utilizan? Oh, with the verb to be. With verb to be? Uh -huh. Solo am, is, y are. That is verb to be, exactly. That is verb to be, okay? Yes, but Jennifer, remember that in previous class, we were working with regular and irregular verbs. Those are other kind of verbs, yeah? With different rules, uh, spelling rules and pronunciation rules. This is just the verb to be, okay? okay. Dead or star, right? But I think like in like last week we were working with with past tense with regular and irregular verbs. Okay, so uh, so you can check those 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 pictures in case you missed it. Okay, here we have more examples: the three ways, positive, negative, and questions. Right? I was, he was, she was, he was. We were, you were, they were. And here we have the negative. We can use two. We can use the long form, was not, or you can use contraction, wasn't. So I wasn't, it wasn't, she wasn't, it was. With where also we can use both of them. But the end is up to you. You pick one and there you go, right? We were not, you were not, or they weren't. With the question, it's quite simple as you may know where to be. We use the verb to be at the beginning, and then we have the pronoun. We use the verb to be at the beginning, and then we have the pronoun. Just take a look where it goes with we, you, and they. Yes? So, and what goes with this pronoun. Here we have some examples. Uh, please. Isabel, please read the examples. Thank you so much. Last year, Rachel was 22, so she is 23 now. When I was a child, I was afraid of dogs. We were hungry after the journey, but we weren't tired. The hotel was comf 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 
todos. Ay, no puedo decir la palabra. Constable. 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 Comfortable, but it wasn't expensive. Was the weather nice when you were on holiday? Your shoes are nice. Were they expensive? Why were you late this morning? Thank you so much. Very good. So here we have the past tense. Okay, in context, as you may see. We can have everything about it. We can make questions. We can make affirmative statements. And we can also have negative statements, right? To communicate something related to the past using the verb to be. Yes. So if, if you notice, all the context is in past and is related to the meaning of the verb to be. Yes. Remember that with verb to be, you can talk about edges. You can talk about, I don't know, feelings. You can talk about, I don't know, where people is from. You can talk about places. I don't know. You can talk about the weather. You can talk about, I don't know, uh, occupation and stuff like that. Yes. So the context context is about the past, but in with the meaning of the verb to be. Let's take a look of a video. Let's listen and watch. No se escucha, escucha. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about 
place of origin, and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so there you have the explanation about this grammar part. Let me show you. Oh, she's just, give me a stop with this because I need to make it bigger so you can see better. I'm sorry, okay? Just give me a minute. Let me have Sue in that thing, right? So you can see better, okay? That would be good, okay? Yeah, so there we have the explanation about the grammar part, as you notice, right? What do we have? We have the questions. Were you in class yesterday? Was your first teacher American? Were your parents born in the US? Okay. So what do we have in here is we have questions. Okay, we have two types of questions as you have in English, right? One is with the normal uh like past tense of the verb. Yes. And the other one is with the long version of the verb. Okay. Yes. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this one. Okay. So this is the basic way that we can make a question. Yes. You see. Were you late? Short answer. No, I wasn't. Was Ted at work yesterday? Yes, he was. Were Sue and Steve at the party? No, they weren't. So this is the basic way that we can make questions with the word to be. With were to be in past, I can write, oh, where or was at the beginning? Yes. And it, this thing gives me the chance to say, no, I wasn't, or yes, it was. Or no, they weren't, or yes, they were. Okay. Let's practice a little bit. Okay. Here we have, this is the present, and this is the past tense. What are you going to write? It says, was, wasn't. Where or where in? Like this one. Were you here yesterday? What is the next one? What is the next one? No, I. Where? I was. No, I was. I wasn't or was? was. I was. Wasn't. Was. Very good. No, I wasn't. Oh, yes. What is next? I, I, I was. was. I was at home. Yeah, very good. So here we have, right? We're playing, we're playing with questions, negative, in the affirmative sentence. Very good. What is the next one? Okay. Well. Oh, very good. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, where? Yes. Were you sick? No, I wasn't. wasn't. I wasn't. Hmm. What in? Where? 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 Was? Yes. Where? It's just was. If you was, was, okay? Because it's like they give us no, but then it gives us the the the, the sentence. Like, I was just really tired. I was just really tired. Where? 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 Where, 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 where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. I, I was born. Was. I was very good. I was born in Mexico City. Okay. Really? What about your parents? Where? Exactly. Where? Very good. Luda, right? Yes. There. Hmm? Were they born here too? No, they weren't. Were. They, they were. Weren't. Weren't. Yes. No, they weren't. They. They was. Where. was they was. Where. They was. Where. 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 That is correct. Very good, Jennifer. Where. Where, where because were. plural. Remember? Plural. Plural. In past. Plural. In Guadalajara. Where. 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 Where, where? When? Where? 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 Because we have Camille. We have Camille. That is key. Yeah, so we have, where was Jamil last week? What is next? Oh. Hmm? Was. 
Was, was now we know that the meal is, is, is a gentleman, right? Was he on the kitchen? Yeah. Yes, he was. 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 Yes, he was. Right, very good. He and his best friend. Uh, yes. Where? Where, very good, because it's good. Where? Where? In Portugal. They. Where? 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 Where you were yesterday? Oh, no. Please. Where you here yesterday? Here. Yes, continue. Continue. Number one, conversation continue. one. I know I was. I was home in bed. Oh, where you sit? No, I was just really tired. Thank you. Where... Thank you, Novia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Melanie, conversation number two, please. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico City. Really? What about your parents? Were they born here too? No, they wasn't. They were born in Guadalajara. Thank you. Where no, was... they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, here. No, they weren't. Yes, very no, good. they weren't. Thank, Thank you. They Melanie. were born in Guadalajara. That is correct. Where, Thank you so much. Where, where was the, Jan Melanie, That's okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. And Jennifer, do me a favor. Number three, please. Where mm -hmm. was Jamil last week? Was he on vacation? Yes, he was. He and his best friend were in Portugal. They were in Oporto. Was it a good trip? Yes, it was. Yamil say, say it was a terrific trip. Thank you so much. Very good. So this is the way we use the past tense. Was and where. Take a look. Present. Past. Was. Present. Past. Okay. So everything that we have here in this that short dialogues is about something in the past using the verb to be. Okay. This is the way we use it. We can use it with questions. We can use it also with a negative. And also we can use this with affirmative statements. Right. So um, don't forget that. Yes. Give me a minute. I'm going to take the attendance. So when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Yes. Give me a minute while I get it. Here we go. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. I'm going to take the attendance. Just give me a minute. I need to find a date. Find it. Oh, here we go. And um, Aleida Areli Garcia Martinez. Ale I'm here to share. Good evening. Thank you so much. Nice to have you one more time. Alicia Arieta Perez. Alicia. Alicia. Oh, okay. What about Ana Cristina Osorio? Present teacher, good evening. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Good evening. Ana and Leticia Garcia. Ana. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, Ana. Welcome. Uh, Elizabeth Campos Romero. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Nice to have Present you. Present teacher. Time. Thank you so much. Blanca Mendoza. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Blanca. Good evening. Nice to have you. Christian Ernesto Romero. Present teacher. Wonderful, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Uh, Maricela Perez. Maricela. Thank you, Maricela. Nice to have you one more time. Milagro Granados. Present teacher. Thank you, Milagro. Welcome. Nice to have you. Um, Isabel Zuniga. Present teacher. Thank you, Isabel. Nice to have you. Ernesto Arias. Ernesto Arias. Donkey Easy. What about Fatima Hernandez? Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Good evening. Jessica Romero. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jessica. Uh, Jessica Melanie Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Carlos Lopez Linares. Present. Nice to have you, Juan Carlos. Welcome. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Miguel Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Nubia Ramirez de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. Rosa Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Eunice Ruiz Morales. Eunice. Present. Thank you so much, Eunice. Good evening. Jennifer Flores Melendez. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. And Yolanda Andrade de Rodas. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, everybody. Let me check the chat here on Zoom really quick. I got a message. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, Ernesto is here, right, Ernesto? Thank you so much. Just let me check that really quick. Ernesto, Arias. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. So let's continue working. We have more examples about it. And what I want you to do is take a look at the descriptions where we can have these to be, right? See? Look at the pictures of these people. Yes, look at the pictures of these people. And we are using the past tense to communicate that. Your classmate was asking, right? Oh, Mr. Do we have other verbs that we can talk? So Jennifer, if you take a look here, we have different verbs. We have the verb to be, and we have a combination of all the verbs. Yes, um, Julio, read the first information, the one that we have in picture number one, please. Marie Curie, scientist. Um, 19, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, very four. Yes. Okay. More important. World Nobel Prizes in 1903. 1903. Um, 19. 19. 11. Very good. Thank you so much, William. So if you see here, we have born in Poland. One. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, hmm. Juan Carlos. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Picture number two. Read the information. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, author, uh, 1927. Very good. Uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2000? 2000. 40. 14. 14. Very good. Born in Colombia. Read one hundred years of solitude. 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 Uh, Nineteen sixty-seven. Oh, that's very good. Very good. Right. Thank you so much, Maricela. Please, Maricela, read number three. Okay. Uh, Maya Angelou, author. Um, 
Nineteen, very good. Nineteen. Twenty eight. Thank you. Two thousand. Two thousand fourteen. Very good. Continue. Bro, in the USA. From I now with the Caleb Brit Sims. Uh, no, recuerdo. Nineteen. Nineteen six. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Very good. Very good. So we have born, and then what is the thing that she did or he did, right? For example, wrote. I know why the caged bird sings, right? So these people, this one is an author, this is an author, and she is, well, she was a scientist. She was a scientist, right? <laughs> I love her face. Her face uh, is like on Friday, right? It's like, it's a Friday face. This face, right? Look at this face, it's a Friday face. Yeah, sometimes we feel like that, right? So if you see, also, we're working here with Ed with, with like dates. Yes, 1927, 2014. 1928, 2014. Oh, they were very close, right? They they like were born pretty much very close and also they died in the same uh, year. That's the thing. Good, okay. Here we have these ones, okay? Look at the pictures below and ask, answer the question. The first thing we're gonna take a look is the picture, okay? So for this one, I would like to ask Rosa. What is Rosa? Hello, Rosa. Hi, good evening. It was? So Rosa, please, the picture, the picture, okay? The picture. The, tell me, tell me, what picture. do you see in the picture? The, uh, teacher? Yes, very good. Uh, window? Yes, perfect. Students. Students. Eh, aula, como se dice, teacher? Oh, how do we say aula in English? High school. Oh, high school, high school, is, school. The high school. High school is the building. Classroom. The... Very high good. Class. Okay. Thank uh, you. Very good. Eh, teacher, uh, lamp. Oh, Door. we have a lamp. Very good. This. A clock. Very good. What is this? Door. Thank you. What is? What are these? What are these? Uh, book. Books. Oh, okay. Very good. What is this? It's uh, right. <laughs> it's not teacher. No, no. Uh, what is it? It's a wiper. Okay, and what is the drawing that we have here? You look at this one. Do you remember this one? Yes. Periodic no? table. Oh, yes. Periodic table, right? Periodic table. Very good, right? Do you remember that thing? That thing was amazing. That thing was amazing. I remember that thing. Okay, now, Rosa, one more time. What is this teacher, Mr. Uh, Walker, wearing? Mr. What is he wearing? Uh, this pants. Okay, pants. Uh, corbata. Hood. Hood. Como es la corbata, teacher? How do you say corbata in English? One. Tie. Oh, very good, Melanie. Tie. Very good. Uh, pencil. Oh, a pencil, probably, right? Uh, what is this? A, this, a, this, come on, no, teacher, se me pasó esta. Oh, camisa, right? Camisa. How do we say camisa in English? Yes? T-shirt. No, no, no. Es camiseta. Es camiseta. With T, es camiseta. Pero sin la T... Just shirt, shirt. Camisa. shirt, 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 very good. What about the girl, Rosa? Look at the girl, Tessa. Uh, Tessa what is she wearing? Boots, pants, 
Uh -huh. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, jacket. Jacket. Mm -hmm. Does does uh is is she is she is she is she wearing a backpack? Uh, back. Okay, Rosa. Another question: How many boys do you see in the picture? Oh, how many? How many boys? Boys. Students. Students. A boy. Uh, uh, three. Four. <laughs> you see three. No, I'm talking about boys. Boys. Like male students. How many male? Two boys. Yeah, two one. boys. One. Yes, one, right? Just take off. Just take off, right? In girls, how many girls? How many girls? I see. Three. Uh, three. Three. Three girls, right? We have three. this one with glasses. I don't know her name, but he's Alisa and also Tessa, right? So three girls uh, students. Very good. Okay. So look at here. We have questions one, two, three, four, and eight questions according to the picture. Yes, but this is about the picture. Mm -hmm. Number one, was Tessa on time for class yesterday? Mire, aquí tengo la question. Yes, let's see this one. No, wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was late. Wasn't. Okay, luego vamos con la next class. Vamos a con la next question, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next question. Was it English class? Yes. No. No, it wasn't. No. 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 The science. It was a science class. Okay. So, so, no, it wasn't. What is the next one? <laughs> it was, it, it was science. Day. It was Sunny science. Day. Very good. Very good. Les voy a dar exactamente 10 minutos so you can escriba las questions y me las contesta. Yes. Utilizando la picture. Yes. Write the questions in your notebook. Escribo las questions. Aquí ya está la number one. Mire. Se contesta. Entonces, se va a escribir number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Y las va a contestar according to the picture. Entonces, para contestarlo, se tiene que ver la picture. So, you see the picture y las contesta. Sí. En, en ¿Me, un favor? ¿Me ayudas con esto? Okay. Bueno. Okay. Remember, las respuestas tienen que ir in past tense, right? In past tense. Siempre acuérdese de decir, yes, she is, or no, or yes, it is, or no, it is. Okay? Si alguien no entiende lo que vamos a hacer, please me avisa. Yes? Me avisa so I can explain to you. Right now, write the questions in your notebook. And answer the question based on the picture. Yes? And then I will start asking. Okay. Question number one. Question number two. Yes? And if you do not understand, let me know. Let me know. We're working with questions with was and where. Like, was Tessa on time for class yesterday? Was it English class? Was it sunny? Was it a sunny day? Was it ten? Was Mr. Walker very angry? <laughs> what is the good word? Were Alisa and Jacob late? To class. Oh, look at this one. We have late to class. Late for class. Okay. Late. Okay. Let me find it. Were they at the board? 
where the windows open. Okay. Let me check that one because that one is very good. It's going to be too late to class or late for class. Oh, this is a good one. When you want to be part in some activity and you are late, you can say that you're late for the activity or that you are late to. Oh, so you can use both of them. That's good. Yeah. Yes, you can use two. Oh, that's a good one. I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. Were Alisa and Jacob late to class? Also, you can say, were Alisa and Jacob late for class? Good. Fantastic. I love it. Uh-huh. When you want to be, uh-huh, yes. I'm late for, I'm late too, yes. However, four is which more widespread than the variety of two. Many native speakers are uh, British. English can decide the price to be late to something. Okay. Either unnatural or um, Okay, very good. Yes. If you finish with the answers, you can be part of this one. Let me know. So I can hear your answers, right? Yes. Uh, if not, when the time is over, I will start asking random people these questions, right? Um, and this is a nice, a nice building, right? Look at this one. We have a nice door, nice window. I mean, the the classroom looks very tidy. Doesn't it mean it looks like new, right? The classroom looks nice. Yeah, that's 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 good. Like here in the Salvador on, on public discourse, we don't have this kind of classroom, right? Maybe a private school. Maybe we can have a classroom like this one, but. In a public school, I don't think so. I don't think so that, that we can have a nice classroom. Uh, uh, I remember my classroom when I was studying at the school, when I studied in a college, and I remember it was a, a mess. It was a, an ugly classroom. Yeah, it was very ugly. <laughs> it was very ugly classroom. That was good. But this one is nice. It looks very new and, and tidy, which is good, okay? Again, we're asking and answering questions with what and where, okay? If you have a question or if you do not understand this content, me avisa, avisame si no entiende right uh, something about what and where. So we can have a short review on that one, okay? But let me know. Are you ready? Are you ready with the answers? Blanca, are you ready? Yes. Juan Carlos, are you ready? Yes. Ernest, well, Ernesto has had problems. No, yes. Yes. Are you ready? Somebody is writing the chat. Oh, okay, Isabel. Thank you. I'm going to start with okay. you, Isabel. Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. We're going to start with Isabel first. Then you, Juan. Okay, so Isabel, question number one and number two. Juan, question number three and number four. Okay? Please. Okay. Was this uh, on time for yesterday? No, she wasn't. She was late. Uh, 
was it was it English class? No, she wasn't. She was at science class. Okay, but the question is, was it? So that means, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was. It was. Okay. It is not about Tessa. The center. The question number two. Okay, Isabel. Sorry. Perfect. Yeah. One. No, it wasn't. It wasn't science class. Exactly like that one. Very good. One. Number three. Number four. Please. Thank you. Um, Was it was it a sunny day? No. Me. No, it wasn't. It was rain. Oh, it, it was a rainy. It was a rainy, rainy. day. Very rainy good. Rainy day. <laughs> uh, was it uh, ten o'clock? No, it wasn't. It's uh, it's what? It was ten five. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Ten five, or you can say five past ten. Okay, mm -hmm. very good one. That is correct. Great job. Yes, thank you. Somebody else. Somebody else ready? Hmm? Melanie, you ready? Number number five, Melanie. Question number five. Was Mr. Walker very angry? No, he wasn't. He was uh, explained the class. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Blanca, number six. Number six, Blanca. Blanca, your mic, your mic is off. I'm sorry. Okay. Were Alicia and Joe late too? No. What? No. Where? No. Okay. No. Where? So, what is the answer, now, Blanca? In no, they was or wasn't or no, they weren't. No, they were. Very good. And what is the compliment? What is the compliment? No, they were. Yes, they, no, they were. No, they were. They are uh, my um. Huh? Yes. No, they in um, morning. Okay, okay, Blanca, we will help you. Le vamos a ayudar with the complement, okay? Ayúdenle, Julio, please. Con el complement de la number six, okay? La number six. Blanca dijo, no, they weren't, pero le falta el complement, okay? What is the complement in number six? Juan Carlos? They were uh, learning. Mm, no, I'm sorry. Like, like that. They were very good. Pero le falta el complement que es lo opposite of. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, maybe uh, they they were uh, early to class. Yes, very good. They were early. Okay, they were early. Very good. Yes. Right, so here we are changing. Yes. Le puse la L. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Very good. So Blanca, yes. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Nubia, number seven. Uh, where they are, they were. Uh, where was
Uh, they were. Okay, I'm sorry. There is a mistake. There is a mistake with that answer, Nubia. But don't worry, we will help you, okay? Uh, um, ODH, uh, number H, uh, este, teacher. Yes. Were they window open? Uh -huh. uh, no. No was window open. Okay, it's, it's quite good. It's not perfect, but it's quite good. Okay, uh, we will help you on that one. Okay, we will help you on that one. Okay, well, let's work with number seven. Uh, Jamilet, number seven. Were they at home at the board? Jamilet, hello, hello. No? Okay, Miguel, thank you, Miguel. Number seven. Were they at the board, Miguel? Hello, hello. Mira, ya te estás viendo. Sí. Teacher, esa no la entendí muy bien. Oh, okay. Where they are. Que, que ellos están en la pizarra o, o algo así. Yes. yes, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is the answer? Yeah. Sería, no, they weren't. Very good. No, they weren't. Very good. Okay. What's the real compliment? They were... Um, on so on the seats. Oh, the, okay. How do we say pupitres in English? Okay. No remember. Okay. Anybody? Chair. No. Chair. No. I'm sorry. It's table. <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. Yes. Um, so, um, very good. Look yes. at this answer. No, they were they were on. Aquí le vamos a agregar their. O sea, sí, their no, desk. no, they were on their desk. Okay. So here we are answering, right? No, they weren't. They were on their desk. En sus asientos, en sus pupitres, right? Very good. Thank you so much, Victor. This is number seven. Number seven. Number seven, okay? Right. I will have it here because I need to use the rest of it. What about the number eight? What about the number eight? Mm -hmm. What is the answer in number eight? Isabel, thank you. Number eight, Isabel. Were the windows open? No. No, it's, it is. Okay. Windows is singular or plural? Sí, está cerrado, pero sí está abierto, dice. Pero yes. está cerrada. No, they weren't. Yes, it's, it's plural, Rosa. Entonces, it's okay. plural. Yeah, yeah. Singular, teacher. Oh, excuse me. No, mire, tenemos plural. No, they weren't. Yeah, okay. Entonces, son singular or plural, Rosa? Plural. Plural. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, no, you're yes, talking. No, they, they weren't. They weren't. Very yeah. good. No, they weren't. What is the correct answer? They what is the correct were. sentence? They were closed. Were closed. Okay. Closed. They were closed. Oh. They were closed. Very good. Right? Yes. So the answer is were the window open? Yes, open. So we can say, oh, no, they weren't. Because if you see the pictures here, the picture, we have the windows and the windows are closed because, because it's raining, right? So um, that's why they were the way closed, right? So if you notice, the context pretty much is about the past tense. Be careful, porque aquí estamos mezclando singular and plural. Singular and plural. So when you have singular, you go with was, right? And when you have something in plural, you need to be careful and you need to work with the plural form, which is where. Was is singular and where is plural, yes? So be careful with that because sometimes uh, we get confused on this one, okay? Yes, right? So don't forget this one. Singular is was and plural is where. Where? Exactly. So, uh, don't 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 forget that. So you can be playing with both of them. 
Any question about this? Any question about this? Yes, uh, igual recordarles el avance, right? En la plataforma de los exercises que tienen ahí. Don't forget that you need to be um, on time with the exercises. Yes, that you have over there. And if you have any inconvenience, you can share in the chat on WhatsApp. You can uh, uh, get in contact with the person that is in charge or in any case, you can con get in contact with well, and we can help each other. Thank you so much for being here, people. Good night. Take Good night, care. Teacher. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. You're the same.